What's up, guys? This is Nick Brown from Castle Rock BJJ uh, under Professor Curtis Hill, Megaton affiliate, so Team Megaton. Uh, today, we're going to show you guys uh, a technique that I like to call the Infinity Sweep. Um, it's a shin to shin variation, and it uh, starts from when a guy aggresses your open guard. So, check it out. <clears throat> Alright, so generally, if we're playing open guard and I'm seated and he's standing, the guy lowers his base to try and come in, and he'll usually lead with one leg. I mean, he can be square, but. Uh, it, it, it's more advantageous for me to attack it when he's leading with one leg. Um, when he does lead with that leg, I'm going to look to shin to shin him with the same leg that's coming forward. So I'm going to look to make this connection and close the space. All right? Now there's lots of different ways to get this kind of uh, closeness to him, whether he steps inside of my guard and then I electively put my foot back through, like re-pummeling, you know, or he can be standing away from me, and I chase into him, right? Now, as soon as my shin touches his shin, they're like crossed bones, I'm going to grab at the crotch of my ankle and his ankle. So I'm going to grab with the back of my hamstring as high up on my knee as I can, and I'm going to grab his uh, heel so that John can tell you now if he tries to pull his foot out, it's pretty stuck. It's got a little bite on it. If I'm just like this, he takes his foot out, we got problems and guys will stand out of your guard. So, as you close the space shin to shin, grab his Achilles tendon with your uh, hamstring. So I'm gonna sit close, and I'm gonna lock it. Now this position can take a little while to get comfortable with if you're not flexible in the hips, or you know if, if you're not comfortable having your knees close to your butt, or your heel close to your butt. But get used to it, because it's real effective once you do. You're basically just in koala guard, but I'm having the shin replaced in. Now I'm gonna grab at his leg, and close and hug uh, shoulder down and listen to his knee. Very important that I put my ear on his knee because I don't want him to scoop under my chin and start setting chokes from the front. So I put my ear, head on his knee and then I start to work. Now, once I've got this leg section, all I'm trying to achieve is a cross grip on his front sleeve. So John's right handed, he's using right hand, my right hand, I'm just trying to achieve this grip. And there's all different ways to do that. If he's attacking my collar, he brings it to me, right? If he's here, he gives it to me. If he kind of keeps it away from me, there's ways to bump him, to bring him across, to put his hand on the mat, to grab it. If he's a grabbing, if we're open and he reaches for me, then I can grab it out, outright. And I'm always looking for that cross grip for this sweep. It works beautifully when you get the lead hand. So I'm going to close in and I'm going to find the front hand and I'm going to punch it into his crotch and I'm going to make like a Kimura grip on my own wrist. There's different variations, but I like this Kimura grip because it's quick. So as I come in, I close. I make the Kimura grip, see I'm like this, and I go on my wrist. Now as soon as I do, I try and put my head through his guard. As soon as I come up, leg drag, be in top position. So let's talk about it one more time. John's aggressing my open guard, he's trying to come in and attack, maybe even steps on the inside, and I re-pummel my shin to his shin. As soon as my shin's on his shin, I grab his Achilles with the back of my leg and grab it tight so that I'm snug here. Even if he tries to take his leg out, I'm pretty tight here just from holding on to him. I'm trying to find his front hand. So if I can, I like to just get a top side uh, like S grip on his sleeve and switch to a Kimura. So here he grips. I switch to the Kimura. As soon as I have the legs controlled and the arm I want in that Kimura grip, I'm going to put my head through. As I go through, I roll and I kick his left leg with my left leg, and as I come up into position, I work the drag to the top to make sure that I'm past his leg and I can start passing. One more time from a different angle. John's here, yep, he steps in with his leg. I find shin to shin, or he's inside, and I pummel shin to shin. I hug with his, uh, his Achilles with my hamstring, and I find the cross grip on his lead hand. This is pretty common because he'd be attacking my collar. I go to the Kimura and I put my head through. As I do, I kick my leg out. As I come up, I peel, let the grip go and peel the knee and come into top position. So, <clears throat> I'm Nick Brown, Castle Rock BJJ, and that was a technique of the week. <laughs>